Hi everyone, this is Chris. Thank you for joining me. So in today's video, we are going to make some jewelry using UV resin. I am in love with this resin because it dries very quickly and you can have your piece of work, your piece of art in your hands, ready to go if you want to wear it as a pendant. We're going to do some pendants today. And I've been playing with a few different things um, and it was more like an experience with which I think came out absolutely great. So you saw this one in the last video. Um, today I have made these two and also these two. So I'm going to show you one of these. It's very simple and using something you may not use or are not used to use. Uh, I'm just going to show you this in just a second. Let me show you from close all these pendants. Okay, so this one I'm not going to show it again. You already saw it last time. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's darker in real life, but it's beautiful. The, the background is really nice and it is transparent. I'm going to put this one aside. Uh, this one I made it today and I really want to show you a few things because it doesn't really look like anything right now. It looks quite fa uh, fade, not too interesting, but take a look at this. I'm going to take some paper here. They are metallic papers and you're going to see that if you think it's not great like this, when you're going to wear it on a t-shirt, on a sweater that has just one color, if it's multicolor, it may not work as well. It's just going to be completely different. So first I'm going to show you this on a normal piece of paper. It could be like a t-shirt, but look at that. Suddenly it has another, uh, it looks completely different. It's a bit too dark probably. And I'm going to come still a little closer because I really want you to see this really well. But look at this, how different it can be, right? It's starting to be more interesting. It's really shiny, really shiny. Let's see this on red, which is not my favorite, but it's also quite interesting. But now I'm going to show you on these metallics. Okay, so just imagine that we're just going to cut around this piece and stick it on the back. Look at that. The background is shiny. Sorry for the glare, but it's not easy to show you without that glare. But look at this, how it's shiny. It's beautiful. Maybe you should use a background that doesn't have this design on it because it might be a little bit disturbing. But look at this. Look how nice it looks. It's, it's a complete different piece of jewelry. What about the gold? It disappears a little bit because we've got some gold uh, pieces in here. We may not see that much, but I also have pink. Now you can see this bubble much better that is also pink. So I think this one is not bad at all. And it's also, again, because it's metallic and I like this background. You see this design is okay. The metallic one is absolutely gorgeous. Let's try this purpley blue. I know on the camera it looks very blue, but it's more purpley, maybe a little bit. It's not bad too. It looks like, you know, the under ocean stuff. Uh, I, I like it. I really like it. Now a very purpley one. Not bad either. See? The fact that it's transparent, depending on what kind of color you're going to wear. Again, this is not the right one. And I'm going to show you silver. Silver is pretty, pretty interesting. It's al It almost looks like it's the best because you can see the whole things in there. Maybe also the, the, the little mistakes, but I, I really think it's, it's a nice one. The metallic one is probably, or silver one, is probably one of my favorite. And you can also... I think I've used the green already, or haven't I? Oh, look at the green. The green is beautiful. It's gorgeous. I think, yeah, maybe the green one is going to be my favorite. The green one is going to be my favorite. And I want to show you just on that background, even on brown, it's not too bad. Imagine maybe some uh, sea, um, seashells or things like that. It could be like a... Uh, beach theme. It's not bad at all. Okay, so that's why even though it may not look much, but if you wear it on another color, look at on my t-shirt there, how bright, vivid, you can see details. It's shiny depending on how you look at it. It's really, really beautiful and it's more shiny than this in real life. So I just wanted to let you know because you might be disappointed by what you have done but depending on what you put on you put it on it's going to be beautiful 
So I have just finished this one and I'm probably going to do it with you again just to show you few things about the colors I have used for the background and it is still a little bit transparent. I'm going to show you on black even though I think on white is much better. It's a little bit darker in real life and I want to show you these two because I really think they're beautiful. Uh, this one is going to be more like a pendant. This is what I had in my mind or maybe it could be also a ring and I had some left over from this one even though it looks darker. It's because it's thicker than this one uh, or the shape, I don't know, but it, it's much uh, or there's more blue because I, this one the layer of blue is thinner. The layer of blue here is almost all the way up so it looks darker but it's really really nice what you have inside here. It's very interesting even though some of the pieces hand sunk, hand sunk on the bottom but actually I did it this way. I did it upside down because of the way my mold was made and in the same manner I have done this little ball. This is going to be a ring. This is the bottom of it and as you can see there it looks like there are two layers but actually there were four layers. It would be very hard to show you how I did that because you can't see much because the the uh, the hole to make it you know to pour your resin is so small you wouldn't be able to really see anything but there's like a half moon there there's a little pearl in the center and then you have a triangle a golden triangle here and I wanted to and also there are tiny tiny balls inside Let me try to show it a little better without my fingers in the way and there are little tiny balls transparent one that I've used like I wanted to have some more bubbly effect and there's another star here there's another moon there and a I think it should be there I have a star somewhere else so I really like the way it looks and again in real life it is absolutely gorgeous and it's shiny as well so use your leftovers sometimes if you have leftover resin to make something else Right, so now let's go to it. I'm going to use, I'm going to take my mold and of course it's a mold like this even though they, it's not completely transparent, they work just fine because they're, uh, it is transparent. Not as much as this one for example but it is transparent and it works pretty well. Maybe you can add one minute when you put it under your lamp but it will work perfectly. And normally what I like to use in my resins if I want to have a real transparent look to them is I like to use piñata inks. So this is what piñata inks look like. Where did it go? It's here. This one is a bit dirty but it's from Jacquard and they're beautiful. I prefer these than any other product because they're bright. The colors are so vivid and you just need a tiny, tiny little droplet of it in your resin. So it really goes very slow when you use it and it comes in a whole variety of colors. But this time I wanted something a little different. I wanted to make an experience. And I had these Jacquard, so it's the same brand but it's called Lumiere and these are different. They're more opaque and as you can see there's a little bit of uh, iridescence gold inside so you might want to shake it up a little bit before using it. I'm not sure you're supposed to do that but there is some kind of shimmer in it. It's iridescent and it's absolutely gorgeous and because I wanted to use this color I want to have some kind of mix between these two. I'm in love with these colors. I wanted to give it a try so I did a little sample I'm going to show you here of that color. That's the back side. That's the front side. Just using a little dab, a little drop of it on a little bit of resin to see if it would cure normally, if I wouldn't have any issues with that because sometimes if it's too opaque with the UV resin it tends not to solidify but it was beautiful and in fact I did a whole pendant with this. I just did it and that's the one I was showing you in the beginning. It is absolutely gorgeous. There is this shimmery on the back. Let me put it here. Um, it's. I'm going to try to come a little closer. I really want you to see the details and sorry if my introduction is a bit long but I really want you, sorry for that, I really want you to 
to see this effect. For those of you who may know uh, the, um, I think it's the Vitri, it's not the Vitri color, but it's a moon, um, the moon paint. It, it looks like a little bit like that. It, it is absolutely gorgeous. So I wanted to have something quite light, but you can't, it, it is going to change a little bit or darken up if you put it on something darker, like if I had my t-shirt here. So it's also quite interesting as well. And of course you can adapt it to your colors uh, that you wanna have. And this is the thickness, so that's the bottom part. And I have worked the right side up this time. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to use that same ink and I'm going to use also my UV resin and I am directly going to put it here. So I'm going to put it here directly on this piece of paper. So this is a piece of paper that I just used uh, with some um, um, tape on it all right and I'm going to directly pour my resin there and add a little droplet a little droplet I hope I'll have enough in this bottle I have another one I work with several bottles I need to fill them up with a bigger bottle that I have as well and I have noticed something so let me know if you have tried the same way, it's too thick. My, the, the room where I'm working right now is a little bit cold and my UV resin tends to uh, harden it a little bit. So what I have done is I put it on a, um, a heater, a room heater, just a little bit so it could liquefy a little bit more. And I'm using the big bottle here because I want to have enough. I don't want this to be too long. So I'm just pouring that clear UV resin. And of course you can use the brand of your choice. And if I have put too much there for my pendant, because I just want a, a thin layer on the bottom of my mold, I don't want too much. I'm gonna use that Lumiere. I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. but it's so filled, I'm not sure it's doing anything. I think I'm just gonna put the drop on top. There you go. And it's really, really small. Let me go back a little closer. Oops. There you go. Now I'm going to mix this whole thing together. And I would recommend using gloves for this and also a mask because as soon as you put it out of the bottle it starts to smell and when you put it under your lamp it's even worse. So just in case protect yourself and wear a mask, okay? And to clean your tools with the resin, whether it's UV or not, just use alcohol and you're good to go. So I'm gonna directly pour that into my mold. And if there's too much, I've got some little tiny molds that I can use and I don't wanna waste anything. But I really love this color. I just love it. I think I need a little bit more. I want to have not too thick, but a nice coverage there. Let's take a look a little bit more again. And honestly, it's not frightening at all. UV resin is so cool to work with. It's so versatile because you can put so many things in there. You can put some stones, beads, dried flowers. All right, 
going to put this one aside now. And I'm just going to do this a little bit. I don't want to put my cute, not my Q-tip, but my toothpick in there unless I really need to. I'm making sure that it's going behind this little piece there. That's where my hole is going to be formed. So I'm going smooth. And there's one thing I've noticed is when with UV resin, um, if I'm having some bubbles, it's really hard to take them out. And I don't, oh, there's something in here. I want to take that out. Um, I don't have problems, issues taking the bubbles away from normal resin, you know, the one that you mix part A and part B just by, you know, using a lighter. It doesn't work with this resin, but if you just heat it up a little bit, you put it in, in kind of a warm, between warm and hot water, just to make it more liquid. Well, I have found that it kinds of, yes, I had something in there. Probably my mold was not that. It was clean, I just used it, but uh, it tends to take away all the bubbles. Okay, so give it a try. If you have tried already to make it a little warmer, again, don't put your UV resin into a microwave, you know, or don't boil it. Just try to make it a little hotter, and it seems to be working pretty well. So now that I'm happy with this, I'm gonna have to come closer because. We're going to use really small bits and pieces here. So I am going to take one of these lovely pearls that I have. And what I love about these is that they change color. See, depending on how you take them, on one side it's blue, on one side it's yellow, on the other side it's kind of pink. So, I'm just trying to put it exactly where I want. And I'm going to take another one in a different color and put it here. I'm always going to do the same thing than the first one I did. And I like to work with odd numbers. Yeah, I like these three, these three colors. And I'm going to use... I want to have something a little different. So what do I have here? Um, let's see. No, this is there. Even though it's not that thick, I am just going to stop here because whatever I'm going to put now is going to sink in the bottom and I want to avoid that because it is a little bit opaque and I won't be able to see anything. So I'm going to stop here. I'm going to put this under my lamp and it's going to take about two minutes to cure if it's I need more, I'll put maybe one minute more. But normally in two minutes it's okay because it's not that opaque. And I'll continue uh, as soon as that first layer is done. So see you in a bit. Okay, two minutes has passed and it's cured. So now let's keep on decorating our little um, pendant here. So what I'm gonna do now is use all these pieces that I have here and what I like to do is before putting my resin, just seeing where I want to put all my decorations inside. I think it's easier when you do that. Uh, and if you're happy with it, well, let's step forward and then put the resin. And what I like to do is pour some in here so I can see what I'm doing. Because I have put quite a lot of these things in here. Uh, so I'm gonna put it directly in here. So I have more space to work and to see what I can have. And I will buy more. And I found these. They're really not expensive, again. So I have pieces like this. I have moons. I have... What else do I have? I have small pieces, other pieces here as well. Um... But they're, they're a bit small for my pendant. But that's totally up to you. And I like to use gold rather than another color. Um, I think it's warmer, but again, up to you. Let's see. 
I don't want to put something too big and I need to come closer because we're working with tiny stuff there. Let me put this here so you can see better what I'm doing. Stay with me. I mean, this is the most difficult part, if you wish, where you have to choose what you're going to put there. And I love these stars. I love everything that is kind of space related. So I really want to put this star back here again. Um, the moon here, this half moon is nice looking as well. Let's see. I might put it, this one is too big. Maybe in here. Yeah, I think it's not bad. Not bad at all. I'm still gonna come a little. I hope it's still good for you. I don't want to come too close. I don't want you to feel dizzy about what I'm doing. And I've got these little parts, and I'm I am using a uh, some tweezers. Not sure they're the best, but mm, I like this one. I like this one here. I, I do believe I need to come closer. It's not easy because my monitor is so small on my camera. And I have this one that I can put here. So there's really no wrong or right. It's just a pattern. And this other, no, I don't want to put two moons. I want to do something a little different. Yeah, that's the most difficult part. Yeah, I've got this half circle here. I like that. This half circle, yes. Going in the same direction. All right. This one here. I might put some bling, but I'll do that later. And what else do I have? Let's see, I've got a little star. Mm. Oh, I wanna put the star here. Mm, that one there. And I want to use another small star. Maybe it's two, two stars? No, let's try something different. Bear with me, people. It's just, I want this to look nice. Uh, and it is going to be shiny. There's not much bling. I'm used to some more blings. So I might put a little bit of these and I want another one I want a third little dot and it's three-dimensional so I'm gonna put this one here like I have the feeling I need to fill the blanks a little bit not too much I'm gonna leave this space here blank yeah I kind of like it I think it's better than the one I did before. It's 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 more filled, but I like it. So now what is difficult is to know when to stop. And I have the feeling that this is plenty enough. I would like to have a little circle like this smaller, but I don't think I have. Maybe in this box, let's take a look. Um, let's take a look. I do have something small here. And I also have a oval. I like this box, look at that. Oh, it's not easy to pick up. It is smaller, and is, there's a nice, there's the right side up. And let's see. I 
take that one part uh, away and put this one here. Hmm. Or I also have a square. Maybe I need another shape or a triangle. Why not? A triangle. Is there a right? Yes. Let's give it a try. You know what? I'd like you to be around here and tell me what you think about it. Yeah, I think I like the triangle. Because there are many circles in here. So I don't have a bigger one. Let me check. Do I have a bigger triangle? Uh, no, I have other triangles here, but they're the same size. I think I'm going to probably leave it there. Uh, I'm just going to check if I have anything bigger. So yes, I did find a triangle bigger, but I think it's way too big. You see this one? I have used this one first, and I think this is too big. I, I really wanted to have some space, a blank spot around, so this one I think I'm going to call it good. I'm just going to pour my resin now. Let's go. Whoa, this is going way too fast. But I think it's good. It's just maybe the amount I needed. need even a little bit more. Actually, I have a pipette. I should have used the pipette because the, the, the opening is a bit big and I'm dragging all that. Yeah, I think it's good. So I'm going to put this under the UV light and now I'll be back for the unmolding and see how it really looks. So see you in a minute. All right, so here comes the moment of truth. Normally we shouldn't really have any bad surprise here, but it, yeah, it's unmolding perfectly. It's, it's sticking to my gloves, but I don't think it would be sticking to my fingers, but look at that. I just, there's a little, there's a little something here. I didn't maybe put enough there, but it's, Still looks pretty good. So my hole here is just perfectly done. I don't need to put anything more here. You can see that there's a little bit of um, missing there. So I might put a little bit of layer, another layer just on top, just with a uh, paintbrush. Do a little bit more of this resin with this color and just brush it out. So something very, very, very thin and smooth. But the whole stuff is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. And you can see the shimmer of the paint. You can see the gold uh, decorations inside ornaments that are really shiny. You can see the three pearls with different colors as well. And depending on how you look at them, it's beautiful. The sides are quite good too. I will put some varnish on the side because it's not perfect. And I want this to be absolutely gorgeous. So. There you go. You know, it's really simple. And in fact, um, what took the most time in here was just to find the right ornaments and choose how you want to place them. And you need to play because it's really wonderful. If you are not happy, you can still put some more um, on top if you didn't use all the thickness of your mold. The more layers you will do, the more um, uh, dimensions you will have but this is quite good because I do see dimensions I'm not sure you will see that on the camera but you can see dimensions in here so there you go I hope you like this video if you have any questions comments or if you just want to come and say hello please uh, write your comments under the description box also uh, please give me some thumbs up 
And um, what else? Yes, of course, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button. I was so, I, I, I love this, uh, this piece so much. I think I'm gonna do another one for a friend of mine because she really likes this color, kind of turquoise. It's gonna be beautiful. Uh, so please, thumbs up, subscribe, bell button, and share on social medias. Thank you so much for being here. See you soon and take care. Bye-bye.